Steve sent me the vaguest picture of a dingy old workshop and said, this is for you. Get your tools and come to Whitney. So I've done exactly that. I've got the van loaded up with tools. No idea exactly what I'm going to need. I've driven two and a half hours to Whitney. Um, it's Saturday morning and I'm going to go and find Steve now. He's waiting for me outside the shop. He's given me the, the address for and who knows what we're going to find. To be honest, I am quite excited. You know I love a treasure hunt. <laughs> Ah, here he is. Right, come on then, Steve. <laughs> okay, I am so, so excited about this because I have found something that you will like so much. And Okay, I'm trusting you here. I you know, literally, I, a, a, a text message saying, bring your tools, come to Whitney. Yes. I've got something for you. Yeah, come with me. Okay. I don't really need another motorbike, Steve. Do you get out there? No, no, you can go out the back to the river because when, when my grandparents, when my great grandparents were here, and my grandmother yeah. um, and all of her siblings, um, they used to play in the river all the time. They were called the water babies of Whitney. Really? Yeah. Behind that door yeah, yeah. is literally the river. Yes, they, they just spent their summers in the river, playing just in the messing river. Messing around in the, yeah. oh, God. I just love it to be. I wonder what was in here then. It was all, it was all bikes, push bikes and yeah, all sorts. You would have had a big old car. Yeah, loads of spares all over the place. Yeah. Oh my God. This is nice. So this is what I brought you to see. Oh, Steve. What do you reckon? I, I'm over the moon. I think I could just hug it. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> do you know what? I knew that you would be so excited when you saw this. And, and knowing that, that you could buy it as well. I, I, yeah. I, I, I was beside myself when I saw it. But you know what this is? You know it's a Ranola. No, I didn't the, know it was a Ranola. The same as the one at the repair shop. Yeah, look. Oh my goodness, it is. This is, so they made three different types oh, of wow. wheeling machine. The one that I've got down there, yeah. a kind of wall mounted one. And this, and I've never seen another one. Wow. These were more designed for aviation big panels because obviously it fixes I mean, oh, this, right, this okay. could potentially yes, yeah. be in the middle of the room and you could, there's no limit to the size of the panel that you can put in there that's interesting yeah. because it, maybe it came from de Havilland's that used to be in in Whitney that used oh. to make aircraft oh right that was down the road is it yeah 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 literally in Whitney so maybe maybe it came from there yeah 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 god I think this has been hiding away in here so what do you reckon I need to get my tools and get it unbolted. I want yeah. to get it in the van as quick as possible. <laughs> There's so many similarities, isn't there? Like the top wheel's yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. The cradle's the same. It's probably sad how excited I am <laughs> about it, if I'm honest. I think I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. Do you know what? I don't think it's sad at all because whenever I find a tool in, a, in an old workshop that I, I, I'd like, I'm just the same. I yeah. get it. I get it in time. It's that treasure hunt yeah. moment yeah. of like, Absolutely. yes, yeah. it's there. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And this is, well, this, this shop has got uh, more than just a, awesome tools in it. There's a sentimental attachment. This workshop, it was where my great grandfather uh, used to work making bicycles and carts. He was yeah. a wheelwright. Um, and just that, that attachment I've got with, with this whole property is just amazing. And this is the first time that I've been in here. And it, if, if it hadn't been uh, for the for sale board out the front, I wouldn't have known. You've never been in here? No. So you obviously no. never got to meet your great grandfather? No, he died back in the 1930s. So obviously not. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did this, pass, this place then pass through the family? Or? Uh, so it passed to a cousin of his, um, and, and then uh, after that it sold to Mike Wheeler's, um, uh, and then to young Mike Wheeler as well. So yeah. another family firm as well, so, and a great family firm. So since the 1800s, it's, there's been bikes, motorbikes, yes. yeah. wheels yeah. of some sort yeah. in this building. Yeah, and it's a terrific space as well. Just, I, I, I just, you know, when you find find out something about uh, a, a property and the connection with uh, a, a member of your your past family, yeah, uh, 
there's something really, really, really special about it, knowing that, that my great-grandfather would have spent such a long time working in here. Literally in here, yeah. wearing out this floor. Yes, it's, exactly. Yes. All yeah. of that. And, yeah. and he probably built the, the, the workshop as well, so putting all this Extend it as he goes. Yes, and to, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very, very special to me. That is, and it's sadly for sale. The upside is that we find gems like this that I knew you'd yes. love. <laughs> this is it. I think how close this was be, would be to me missing out on it and it yeah. ending up potentially being scrapped or who yes. knows where, because like, I'm probably one of the only people that would get quite as excited about it. Yes. But yeah, a few weeks on, someone new bought the place, it gets demolished, yeah. and this m amazing piece of history would be gone. Exactly. I guess because this was uh, attached to the, the whole structure of the, the building, it makes it solid, absolutely solid, without any flex at all. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I've never used a wheel like this because obviously the, the cast iron handle has got a kind of flex, yes, which yes. is important to actually wheeling. So I wonder if that's why they've used timber. This is ash, I think. Right. I wonder if that, well, I mean, I doubt that's going to flex very much. No, though. because that, 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 that's grain it's, on, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, so. it's compression, isn't it? But it's not yeah. going to. So this obviously looks. Completely different to the Randlers that yes. I'm used to seeing. Yes, yes. Well, bits of it are similar. The cradle and the lower wheel, the top wheel is the same. They've kind of nicked bits from the original cast iron one. Yeah. But that has a restriction, as in as the, the back of the, there's only so big a panel you can oh, fit in yes, it. Yes, yes, of course. Before it hits the back of the yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a clever design, and I've never seen another manufacturer making one like this. Okay. But this could potentially be in the middle of a massive workshop. So you could have a 15-foot panel Big as that you, you like. put in there and, and make this a most amazing, amazing have, big yeah, panel. Yeah, four people yeah. holding each corner yeah. And, yeah. Just, and be feeding through it. And there's just on that, still that same tiny contact patch, the same skill yeah. and same talent to actually drive this thing, yeah. but on a huge scale. I, I, just, I just knew in my soul that, that you'd love this. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. It's awesome. I guess we need to figure out how to get it down. Yeah. Yeah. Number one, it's supposed to be a day off, Steve. Oh, is it? You're going over to Bristol tomorrow? Yeah. So I'm literally coming back here again tomorrow. Whew. Right, before we do the next ones, yeah. I want to get the bottom out of the way. Oh, do you? Just because I don't want, to, don't want this to drop. And damage it? Yeah. So what, will it dent it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. the, okay. the wheels are soft. Yeah. So I don't want that, that wheel to drop and hit, okay. it, hit it. Yeah. Out, we'll have to. All oh, right, okay. Will it? Will we, not, is that no, no bolts? Will we, we don't have to lift it. Can you not lower that? No, it won't go anymore. I think it's stuck. Will it not? Yeah, it's going. That's going. Okay. No. No. Okay. If I just push it to one to one me, yeah. yeah. There you go. No. <laughs> A bit easier, isn't it? <laughs> In between us, we could figure this out, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I bet really? this isn't light. No. Well, I don't know what that body's made of. Well, it's cast iron, isn't it? I don't know. I was wondering if it was aluminium. No, Do you think it's that, that'd, it looks be, that'd be cast iron. These legs are obviously yeah. bolted on, but that middle bit, yeah, it's cast, maybe it's cast iron. Well, I'd imagine so. The rest of the stuff is cast iron. But yeah. Because that's got good compressional... Um, uh, Load? No. Uh, 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 loading, yeah. Loading? Yes, yeah, yeah, good, yeah. It's very strong. <laughs> Especially right. a solid lump of it like that. Okay, to you then. Come over this way and then yeah. out, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Neither of us bought oh. gloves. Yeah. God, it is heavy. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. Okay. Oh, there we are. It's almost it's like a sculpture, isn't it? Isn't it? You wouldn't know. I was just thinking, like, there's no yeah. branding on it. It doesn't say Randall on it anyway, so you wouldn't know. If that plaque, which yeah, yeah. was missing, yeah. which is quite often the case. I yeah. reckon, yeah, if it had been round the other way as well. Yeah. Should we take the wheel off? No, I think we just leave it. This is heavy. Yeah. 
Yeah, the wheels are fragile a bit, I suppose. Yeah. Let's have a go. Go on. Oh. No, we're taking it off. <laughs> we're taking it off. We're taking it off. OK. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Let's use this hammer. Yeah, that's fine. It's heavier than you think. Is it? Well, the axle's still in there now, but... Coming out. Yep. You got it, Steve? Yep. You right? Yep. You sure? Yep. You sure? That's all yours. Got it? Yeah. Right, let's pop that down. Go on, if we do the, the other way up, look. They've all got, all the, even the big cast iron ones, they've all got a number. 157. Okay. That's quite an early, that's the, uh, that's the lowest number I've got in my yeah. collection of sort of database of, of numbers. I can't date it from that. Right. Um, for, annoyingly. But. Will this have a reference number on it anyway? So you could maybe, no, no. you can't find out Other any records at all? No. Okay. It's beautiful. I mean, it's, why do we find things beautiful like that? I know, <laughs> just, a, just a bolt, yeah. Yeah. Because you know that that's been hand right? Someone's turned that, yeah, cut yeah, the thread, an old Whitworth thread. Yeah. Matching nut. The amount of work in making that I now. And yeah. how old is it? Yeah, 1930s. Yes. And, and still working perfectly. And still working perfectly. Isn't that just amazing? That's how we should be making things today. All by hand, no CNC machines. It's all, <clears> yeah. Slightly bigger than the, than the uh, nuts and bolts you're used to on your clocks. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. This is more the size of ch church clockwork. Oh, of course. So it's not all small clocks. Yeah, exactly. Every time this is in Whitney, isn't it? The clock that you yeah, yeah. wind the hands back on. Yep. And it's big stuff like this. Yep. Shall I go get the grinder? Not yet. Not yet. They didn't want this to move, did they? They didn't want it to come off at all. No. <laughs> well, for obvious reasons. Like, this should move. Oh, you reckon it's going to slide down? Yeah. I don't think the floor's low enough. Well, once we get it out, then it'll probably go over to one side. Oh, mind your eyes. <laughs> I need mine more than my eyes, I think. <laughs> so, Just take this. Yeah, that loosen off that little one holding it. They're all different sized bolts. No, they just go rummage around nuts, through. Nuts, I mean, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll do. That will do. Rummaging through the pigeonhole drawers of, of old nuts and bolts. There we go. That'll yep. do. That's fine. Yep. It's loose now. It back I've in. just wedged it back in. Ah. <laughs> Go on, undo them a bit more. I shouldn't be holding it now, that's pretty loose. But it's, it's, up, it's, it's, I'll, if I'll, you just bash I'll, that top. I'll get back up my ladder. Yep. Pull it over. It's a beautiful ladder. Right, this is it. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is that hanging on with? Have you got a hammer? You haven't got a club hammer or something? Sorry. It really doesn't want to leave. Maybe this is selling us something. Yeah, exactly. He wants to stay. <laughs> <laughs> got a nice long handle. Yeah. <laughs> There it goes. Oh, oh. Don't let it hit the floor, Steve. Whatever you do, <laughs> don't let it hit the floor. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. No, just to slide down like that, yeah. Sorry, I was... Don't be sorry, no, it's fine, it's fine. At least good job we took the wheel out, though. Whoa. OK. 
Look at that. Done. There we go. What is that? Is it oak? Or is it ash? Well, it's free. It is. It's yeah. quite strange, isn't it? After all these years, I think that's been hanging there. I know. For so many years. I know. How many people, how many bikes and mud guards and who, fuel who knows, tanks? Yeah, who knows yeah. what? Who knows? That's what I love about these old things, is the, the people that have used it and the things that that's made. That's, at some point, somebody bought that, new yes. from yeah. Ranella, yeah. investment for their company to make a living. I bet when they bought it, they were just as excited as you are coming along and, and finding this. Yeah, so. I bet. It's like, yes, it's turned up, quick, let's get it installed. Yeah. Let's, get, quick, let's have a go, I want to have, a, I have the first yeah. play, I want to have the oh, first go. Absolutely, yeah. without a doubt, yeah. 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 It's so funny, isn't it? Yeah, I'm chuffed a bit for you. I am, thank you, honestly. I can't thank you enough, Steve, No really. problem at all. Yeah, uh, awesome. Right. Let's right. get it in the van. To the van. Go on then, I'll take the heavy end. Okay, go on then. God, it really is heavy. Damn <laughs> Or are we getting old? I don't know. <laughs> Right, that's it. The Ranala is secure in the back of the van, safe and sound. And now I've got the long old drive back to Kent, back to the workshop to unload it. I just checked my phone and it's been almost two years to the day um, that I was on the previous Ranala treasure hunt. About an hour in to wandering around country lanes and footpaths uh, and I haven't found anything yet. And that, it's even got the little imprint, no. That is where the English wheel used to be. There you go, we can just imagine it. <laughs> that was just sitting there. Oh. I mean, you can tell it's only just been taken up. Uh, meeting Anthony and finding my very first cast iron Ranala. There's not enough people around like that anymore. There really isn't. And I, I wish I could be a tenth as clever as him, <laughs> honestly. So much stuff has come out of the woodwork and so many of you have got in touch with me and shared your knowledge and shared uh, bits of literature and things that you've got. I couldn't be more grateful. Um, and this wheeling machine that I've got now is a massive piece of history. It's the first one I have ever seen in real life. I knew they existed because I've got the original catalogue from 1939, the original Ranala sales brochure, which has got the standard cast iron machine, this one, and the wall mounted machine. Uh, I'm yet to find the wall mounted one. So anyone out there that ever sees a Ranala wall mounted version, get in touch and let me know. But uh, yeah, what a day. Brilliant. I cannot wait to get back to the workshop, get it unloaded and have a proper look at it because it's a beautiful thing. Okay, to the workshop. <laughs>